Now comes the detailing part. Suppose there is no planet in the sixth house. So you become disease free. No, okay. sir. There will be planet aspecting the sixth house that also you will take into consideration. Now the point is sixth Lord will go somewhere. And whichever Rashi it will go, whichever house it will go, it will impact a few body parts that you see from this list. So if sixth Lord goes into cancer, you remember the name of Aquarius. What was the name of Aquarius? The synonymous name. Hridrog. Because sixth house will be cancer, you know, heart disease. So now there is one more question. This is very good. This Sajit, this Aquarius, let, let me let me tell you a point. Have I ever told you the importance of Varamir? I told you, not told you. Varamir is a guy who even if he does a punctuation, he does a punctuation for thousand reasons. This you will not know until you have spent hundred years in Jatish. More than thousand years you will need at least. Varamir is a very bad guy. He don't use as a comma extra. He have written in his book, even a comma have four meanings. If you can decode it, then only read further, otherwise leave it. You cannot do Jyotish. So this Varamir guy have written a complete word, Hidrog, for Aquarius. Just to say that because Aquarius is having cancer in the sixth house, it should be Hidrog or heart disease. Seem very unlikely of what Varamir is. So that is one meaning. That is one particular meaning. He is telling you that you can make a list of default disease that any ascendant can have depending on the Rashi falling in the sixth house. But another point, let me take you into a little bit of Parampara secret. Right, little bit of Parampara, just a little bit of. So open your third eyes, which are very blocked, it seems. It will open up. They understand the point. There is no intuition. There is no God. There is nothing in Josh. It all comes from shlokas, right? So there's a question. There's a very like, entertaining good question. What I like. Sir, fifth house also indicates stomach. Leo also indicates stomach. What is the difference in the stomach? One. Two. Both have the same answer. Ascendant indicates head. Aries indicates head. You meet with an accident. Someone meets with an accident. His head is broken from this particular point. He gets 16 stitches. Case one. Case two, someone got a brain hemorrhage. Scene two. Both are having problem in head only. But this problem is a very different nature. Shot into heart. Heart attack are two things. How to differentiate? Should I take less oily food? Or should I don't fight with gangsters? You know, two different things, you know. The fighting with gangsters can get you shot. What does Hridrog mean? Heart disease. Mm, heart disease. Ah, heart disease. Okay. But as I told you, Varamir puts the sloka. Vrit vichitra arth bahulam shastra palavam prarabe. People, people take vrit vichitra. Vrit basically means poor. Hey, you people are getting into parampara by going into my courses now, but this much if you people don't think, who will think on your behalf? I will. Definitely I will, but still. Ridro can also mean uh, like the break in the heart. Means, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, that kind of... can also means yes. But my two questions. Okay, so let's take, <clears throat> let's do something. 
there are two words hrid rog heart disease okay hrid ghat ghat means attack he is saying hrid rog not hrid ghat he is saying heart disease not attack on heart now why he is saying aquarius have heart disease because it have cancer in the 6th house what does that mean rashi affliction indicate disease house affliction indicate wounds attack cuts etc okay are we very clear this is the difference between both remember if you are getting a disease it can be the body part is not lost you know sixth house indicate disease people take sixth house indicate loss of body parts also but that is wrong loss of body part is 12th house any loss is 12th house so when there is an attack happening over you even a cat dog tiger attacking you they will at least chip off some pieces of skin or anything for that matter so this attack wound is indicated from the 12th house and 8th house 8th house is more like a hole that goes across the body gunshot kind of a stuff 12th house indicate one sided hit an animal chipping off your skin kind of stuff whereas 6th house indicate disease in the case of disease remember body have self healing capacities it can heal itself so are we very clear about the differentiation Ra rashi will indicate disease house will indicate other afflictions hmm so removal of kidney removal of kidney stone will come from the fifth house gastric trouble digestive issues will come from leo right good good to okay now so the second added layer into it the detailing part is with sixth lord going into different houses you are to predict disease as well two things happen here just a second back two things happen here sun coming to the fifth house you know sun is the lord of leo stomach disease it will indicate sixth lord going to leo you know stomach disease it will indicate sixth lord going into 11th house you know 11th house indicate legs because 11th house is aquarius problems related to leg is to come yes bhai sir you said uh, removal of kidney stone or removal of kidney from fifth house so uh, which factor will show that it will be removed just coming to that point okay, okay yeah now this is a very good question the grievance of result so okay there is a planet in the 6th house that is sun sun goes to the 6th house sun is aspecting the 6th house sun is aspected by the 6th lord either ways it can happen that's very fine now what is the difference between a sun going to the 6th house and sun getting afflicted by the sixth lord sorry getting aspected by the sixth lord though i already gave you an answer still the difference if sun goes to the sixth house sun can be healthy also sixth house aries sun into aries in the sixth house it is healthy so little bit of stomach digestion etc related issues will happen but on the other hand if sun is aspected by the sixth lord he is getting afflicted also by the aspect of the sixth lord other than indicate the sixth lord is aspecting that means disease related to sun is going to come and because sixth lord is a malefic sun becomes afflicted also here disease will be of more dangerous stomach worms and other things will happen right extreme level of diarrhea kind of a stuff right or you say vomiting kind of a stuff where your stomach is not taking food at all 
as the affliction will be increasing, more and more serious problem will come. Here, once again, you have to come to the nature of planets. What is the difference between Sun and Mars? In talking of disease, Sun is bile nature, Mars is also bile nature. But what is the difference? Mars indicate weapon also. And the shloka is Sanivat Rahu Kujvat Ketu, right? So Ketu works like Mars. Ketu indicate weapons also. If there is going to be removal of some body part by it, then Mars Ketu have to come into play. Because surgical tools will be used. Or even if it is, you know, attacked by a sword kind of stuff. Also, 12th house indicate loss. So loss of body part will, of course, happen. 12th lord have to come into play. And third house indicates sabotaging. This wounds, cuts, surgical instruments, sharp object is indicated by the third house. That's why the third nakshatra is kritika, that is sharp object, but leave it. Let's not go into nakshatra. So 12th Lord, 3rd Lord, Saturn, Ketu, sorry, Mars, Ketu. Two or more than two of these planets coming into the scene does indicate there is going to happen removal of something. If it happens with related to the 5th house, then removal in external stomach will happen. If it happens with Leo, removal in internal stomach will happen. That's another point. Disease comes from inside. Wound comes from outside. Rashi is inside. House is outside. So when there is problem with Libra, its sperm count can be low. When there is problem with 7th house, other issues, other sexual issues can be there. Its sperm count being very fine. Or ovary count or whatever for that reason. Are we very, very clear about it? No confusion. Good. Okay. So you got this part. When sixth lord is expecting a planet, disease is to coming, but affliction is also going. Because sixth lord by nature becomes a malefic. Hmm? Now there is one more point. This I give you homework. This is second homework. Okay. A small week, many homeworks because Sunday we are going to meet, but still. You people can do it. Much faith in you people, you know. First is to find what disease bile will cause, what disease phlegm will cause, what disease wind will cause. Unnati Madam probably already know this because she is into Ayurveda. You people will find it. Now do a Google search, you will get it. Now, body parts. See, people ignore. People have ignored body parts. Body parts related to rashes. You know, you should always have an approach. In astrology, if anything is written by any sage, like Varamir, go deep into it. Right? So all the body parts have a vasana into it. Vasana is a desire. Body parts have a desire. What your eyes do? See. But there are two types of seeing. Watching. Whatever. Watching and ogling. You understand? So with your eyes you do ogling. This sense organ of touch is to tell you what is good for you and what is not. What is hot, what is cold, right? But you use this sense organ of touch for sensory pleasure also. There is an approach. Mind is for thinking. But to, with this thinking, you go to imagination. Ears are for listening. But then you go to music as well. That is enjoyment. Heart is for pumping blood. But you use it for loving also. The multiple uses with body parts you do. So what you do, you find this particular uses of every body part. 
three four examples i have given you and let's try to take the approach from here it comes why ascendant is intelligence there is no shloka there is no shloka that tells you that head indicates thinking intelligence comes from the fifth house that's another scenario thinking is another scenario many people meet many people think i am very intelligent that's a very wrong notion i have fifth lord in 12th house how i can be so thinking i'm just a little bit of intelligent because lagna lord goes into lagna right so are you getting my point the difference between thinking and information is the difference between lagna and the fifth house and there is no shloka which will tell you lagna is intelligence but you have to understand if lagna is head your head is thinking so aries is thinking also hmm so if the 10th lord is saturn it goes to aries it is debilitated it is giving you a profession related problem what problem thinking related issues you are not taking things in right way you are miscalculating it your judgment is very wrong right yes hmm am i very clear about it this vasana or the second uses that we have done we humans have developed over time to find out this is the particular reason i always say love marriage is to be seen from the fourth house because when you love someone it is an affair of a heart not an affair of a stomach pet thodi na laga liya hai dil lagaya hai bhai पेट मत लगाओ राइट सो दैट्स वाई द फोर्थ हाउस बिकॉज इट इज हार्ट मैटर यू नो वॉट यू लाइक सो लाइकिंग ऑल्सो कम्स फ्रॉम द फोर्थ हाउस सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गिफ्ट सम वन समथिंग चेक देर फोर्थ हाउस एंड यू विल नो वॉट दे लाइक राइट एंड गिफ्ट दैट अकॉर्डिंगली एंड मल्टीपल थिंग्स इन टू इट जनरली यू एडवाइज बिजनेस मैन अबाउट हाउ टू प्लीज यूर सीनियर्स एंड बॉसेस एंड वॉट एवर so multiple uses you can take out that's all up to you right so let's uh, hmm. now there is one more thing that i have written here based on this body parts and based on this vasana vasana desire the extra uses i have written a few things in brackets <clears throat> these are the deities which you should be worshiping okay so for aries which is head rama should be worshiped because rama is very strong headed right rama is very strong headed worship of rama should be done chant the mantra meditate on the photo visit a rama temple whatever you want okay for taurus shaligram shaligram you know shaligram is a small black stone that is used for worshiping vishnu that shaligram should be worshiped people keep shaligram at home also that i don't recommend so it's better go to a temple where it is kept and then worship it for gemini balram should be worshiped how will you worship balram god knows this lohari all these festivals that are related to cocks this lohari and all this thing there are many things that happens all over south india north india whatever celebrates the seasonal corps crops whatever it is pronounced is a worship of balaram for cancer krishna should be worshiped for leo brahma should be worshiped you can go to pushkar or there are many brahma temples in thailand as well if you can keep your sensory organs into control you can go to thailand as well also brahma worship is best done through meditation as well right so the worship of brahma rather brahman super soul is done by meditation 
that can be done for Virgo, Kurma can be worshipped, tortoise in incarnation of Vishnu and Shakti, the form of mother goddess, any form of mother goddess for that matter can be worshipped. Libra indicates genitals for that Kamadev is to be worshipped. Now, how do you worship Kamadev? Bashant Panchami is dedicated to Kamadev. But you celebrate Saraswati on that particular day. The modern manifestation, the current day manifestation of Kamadev is Saraswati. That's why Brahma is so luring behind her. Because of the manifestation of Kamadev, you know. I mean, if Kamadev is manifested into Saraswati, there is no fault of Brahma in itself. In it. But still, keeping senses into control, this is what Libra teaches you. For Scorpio, I have not written any god at all. That's a Scorpio, other gods you have to see. For Sagittarius, you have to, you can, Maya, Asur, and Mohini are to be worshipped. Dikpala, you know Dikpala? Dikpal and Chetrapal are there. You people have seen this new movie, this Kantaravan. You should see. Though I don't propagate movies, but it seems like it is good. I will come to this concept of this Chetrapal, etc. Let me complete this complete stuff. Right. So this worship of Chetrapal and all these things have to be done. We'll come to that. For Capricorn, Narasimha have to be worshipped. Narasimha, many stutras, many temples and many things are there. For Aquarius, Lakshmi have to be worshipped. And for Pisces, Vaman have to be worshipped. Now to find Vaman temple is very difficult. To find Vaman mantra is very difficult. But you ask me, I have many things. Including Vaman mantra, right? So don't worry. If you dedicatedly find, you find a mantra for everything. 